Hi guys, it is May 31, 2018, like Grind All 61, the Fol Fullerton Informer is informing you of what is happening here to our country. They, in California, they posting an awful lot of information about what is happening in their area of California, but I want to preface, as I have prefaced in many videos, what is happening in California. If it's not happening in your community already, oh, it's in the works. Now, I recommend subscribing to the Fullerton Informer. He has posted a video, Orange Unified Calls Emergency Meeting After Listening to Community Over New Sex Ed Curriculum. I can't believe that Common Core is still in existence. I can't believe that teachers and parents who know how unbelievably damaging is Common Core to the students, to their children, they continue to allow it. And some parents, they certainly do come out of the woodwork regarding certain aspects of Common Core, not understanding that the entire curriculum is to corrupt the young. A lot of parents come out when they learn of these sex ed curriculums that are so depraved and so sick, obvious. They are obviously depraved and sick so when they are so obvious and you see so many people just sitting back and thinking that these are great or not caring, you really have to wonder what the hell has gone on here in this country with Americans. Please watch this video. Please circulate it. And parents, man, if you have not been involved trying to understand and learn uh, what your children are being fed in these depraved indoctrination centers because that's what they have become. No longer public schools. Impraved indoctrination centers, the environment, the physical environment, has become danger zones due to the wireless, due to the Wi-Fi. I, in listening to this, yeah, I've known that this has been going on for many, many years, but it still horrifies me. I don't have children. I'm 60 years of age, and I am not a prude. I have lived an experience that, you know, has taught me an awful lot, but taught me an awful lot about what is really important. And you know what? Sex between two people, it should really be regarded as sacred. And now, it's, it's meaningless. You have to wonder why. We have a suicide rate, the highest it's ever been for teenagers. You have to wonder why. Because. Life has become meaningless. But this sex ed curriculum that is taking place in Fremont, uh, California, I hope please listen to these parents. And then you, well, I believe everybody should be involved, but especially parents who have children going to public school or charter schools, even private schools. Um, you need to do the research to find out about Common Core and about what is being taught to your children as young as kindergarten. But this teen talk, I believe it's called, this sex ed curriculum. And starting with fourth graders, fourth graders, fourth grade. <sighs> They are taught that gender, apparently there's no, no longer two genders, male, female. Ah. Well, 
that has been what it's been forever. All species, two male, uh, two genders, male and female. Not today, boy. No. Well, I'll show you what is happening here with all of the abject sick insanity that is taking place. No, now children are being taught, you get to decide what gender you are. And don't, oh, I don't want to see the comments. Oh, you hate transgender um, people. You're a, a bigot. You're, you hate homosexual. None of that is true. We're talking about fourth graders. We're talking about what is taught in our public schools. And I have had many transgender individuals leave comments underneath my Kafka Winston World videos on this subject. They too incensed. So isn't it interesting that because of these agendas, the um, making homosexuality and transgender and oh you the PC language that you now have to use and God government's actually writing legislation passing legislation to declare as hate speech if you don't if you don't um, use the proper gender pronoun that someone wants used, oh dare you slip up and call it he a he because the, the, that's what's standing before you. This is abject insanity and there is a deliberate reason for it. And many homosexuals, transgenders, they see, they see the deliberate agenda. They don't like being used just like many blacks see the deliberate agenda to get whites and blacks to hate one another and keep fighting one another. Some people actually can rise above and see what's happening. So all of those who leave comments, and some of them are so vile and so violent against transgender people or homosexuals, and uh, many are Christian. Something's wrong with their Christian heart. But you're 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 proving yourself to be this zombie who was also indoctrinated in that divide and conquer strategy. Hey, a lot of this is presented to get one another fighting one another and that's exactly what you're doing. Wonderful. You're exposed as a dupe. Okay. So now, yeah, kids are being taught. You get to choose based on how you feel your gender. Uh, talk about just turning upside its head. Basic biology. It's incredible. They're taught anal sex. Uh, they're taught about homosexuality. They're asked questions like, who would you like to date? Males, females, both? Um, what else? That homosexuality is not a choice. Well, guess what? Many have chosen homosexuality. And many, due to their sexual abuse that they experienced as children, the trauma that they experienced at, the own, at their own parents' hands, become homosexual. So it's not that they're born homosexual, and it's not even that they have chosen homosexuality consciously. They've just been moved onto that trajectory into being a homosexual. So this uh, teen talk, this sex ed curriculum, is actually teaching that homosexuality is not a choice, it is a matter of biology. And they claim that this curriculum is based on uh, 
medically accurate information. Well, there is also um, this woman right here. I'm sorry. I'm a little torn because somebody's just talking right outside my window. This woman right here, she's talking about how it is an assault upon children and that you don't have to be religious to know what is right or wrong. This is wrong. This is an assault. Fourth graders should not be presented this information. And if you as an adult can't understand that, then something is wrong with your mind. And I hope that you begin to question your own thinking, your own attitudes, your own beliefs. And those of us in the baby boomers in that generation, if you don't see something wrong with this, if you're not questioning how is it that our country has so radically changed and not understanding that when radical changes happen in one's society and one's culture, that there is a deliberateness about those ra radical changes, that they're being pushed on the people, um, then you really need to, you need to step back and think about what is taking place in this country and consider, consider what, yeah, all of those conspiracy theorists are saying to you that maybe they're not crazy, that maybe they've got a handle on reality that you just don't. But sex ed, as far as I'm concerned, should not be taught in the schools. It was brought into the schools to degrade the American people. This is the parents' job. It is the sole province of parents. And yeah, many parents just don't do a very good job on it at all. Which is, well, that's an obvious as well. Look at the condition of the American people, the majority. Clearly something went wrong in their childhoods. But it's not just happening in Fremont, California, uh, Florida. Parents demand change to sex ed curriculum in schools. So, as you read this short article, uh, parents are demanding change to the sex ed curriculum presented in schools after the story that aired on ABC Action News. But then they go into claiming that those upset are a religious Christian faith group and they want abstinence. Okay, that might be right, but as you can see in this article that was posted on this meeting where so many parents spoke, see it's an hour and a half long, interesting that here we have mainstream media, the picture that they chose is in support of this sex ed. Now they're, they actually posted this picture which is claiming STIs down, teen pregnancy down, delay of sexual activity up, delay of sexual activity with students up. No, uh, they, they are using this because that is part of the indoctrination. Most were very upset and were against this sex ed curriculum. The mainstream media right there. Wow. Okay. Um, well, I will tell you, delay of sexual activity. Uh, have you talked to teenagers? They're not delaying any sexual activity. In fact, fifth graders, sixth graders, they have been so programmed by TV to regard sex as nothing. And everybody is doing it, and it's meaningless, and it's just fun, so let's do it. Um, and a nurse actually speaks at this meeting in Orange County. She said, STDs or STIs, they've changed the sexually transmitted disease to a sexually transmitted infection, are just off the charts in Orange County. So you would think that mainstream media 
looking at this and recognizing, okay, things that we're not going to put up a poster, we're not going to put up a picture of people holding up what is factually incorrect. No, they're going to do it. And they don't say anything. They don't, they don't even clarify or correct the factual incorrections. This is an assault upon children, and that's why I get very, very upset. But here, you know, more information is always better. The information is going to help the kids make healthier, happier decisions and ultimately save, excuse me, stay safe throughout their lives. I have to tell you guys, something is happening to the atmosphere here, the air. Um, I find it very difficult to breathe, wheezing, dry cough. Oh, I'm getting so done with this reality that has manifested. But what do they say? Medically accurate. Who cares? First of all, it's not med medically accurate. Um, but who cares? This should have no place in schools. And absolutely no place in a fourth grader's classroom. Experts. Oh, the subject matter has been vetted by experts and is in line with state law. Those indoctrinated adults and parents will go, oh, okay, experts know better than I do, so it's okay. And it's in line with state law. So we have those really smart people in our legislature, and they propose legislation. And if they pass it, well, then that means that really smart people are passing laws for our benefit. Well, you want to talk stupid? It's right there. You have got to start realizing that experts, especially today, our experts are indoctrinated. Our universities, our colleges have been infiltrated and they are receiving an education based on what is not science, but they claim it's science, and they are just being indoctrinated to further the takedown of America, of the United States. And this is one, one of the weapons in which they do that, to degrade the American people. That's why TVs, movies coming out of Hollywood, video games, it's all showing these kids the worst morally depraved human beings engaging in sex and violence and drugs and everything's about a me and how I'm feeling and that's it and these experts who claim that this is appropriate please start recognizing that you are equal to every expert out there and if they say something that you're not questioning then you have rendered yourself below them and you're not and it doesn't matter how much education you have but you as a parent you're the one who knows so if your instinct says this is wrong don't let an expert tell you that it's right and state law means nothing especially in California California the forefront state they're out there showing us this country has been taken over and it is rapidly transforming from a free nation to a communist nation and your local officials your state officials your federal officials are either conscious participants in the takeover 
or unwitting useful idiots. But please check out your area. All right, so you've got Florida and you've got North Carolina. This is happening all over our country. It is part of the Common Core curriculum. And Common Core, what does that mean? It means everybody, everyone is common. It is to make the individual merge with all their peers. Nobody stands out. Nobody has a definite personality. It's to destroy individualism because that is a threat to the state. But Common Core, these kids are having their creativity, their critical thinking skills, their own uniqueness, their personality, everything about them destroyed. And they're simply being trained like dogs to obey their masters when they're grown up. Now, I'm going to be reading a lot of this in an, another video. Doing it in this one would take way too long. But here, Head Start, The Soviet Art of Brainwashing. Um, on Kafka Winston World, I had posted videos on this. Yeah, we do have a communist takeover. And this is, well, that New World Order. Okay, so this is the that New World Order insider, Dr. Day, that I have mentioned several times in videos, posted videos on this transcript right here which I will link to below. Dr. Day, former uh, director of Planned Parenthood, which is a eugenics organization. And he was a pediatrician at Mount Sinai in New York, 1969. He sat before an awful lot of his um, colleagues who are of lesser status. He told them no recording, no pen, no paper. You will not take any notes. You will not audio uh, record what I am about to tell you. And they sat there in 1969 listening to this insider tell them what would be happening to the United States. And he said, everything is in place and nobody can stop us now. He said, some of you will think I'm talking about communism. Well, what I'm talking about is much bigger than communism. Much bigger in terms of the world. All of the agendas coming out of the United Nations, Agenda 21, Agenda 2030. Well, yeah, there is a transformation of this world. But I think when he says much bigger, much darker, far more dangerous communism on steroids. Now, if you look at the subject matters that was discussed by Dr. Day right here, and you read this document, you will see that virtually everything has come true. What he said in 1969, we are living today. Living. And this came about through another doctor, Lawrence Dunnigan, who, in I believe 1982, sat down with a journalist and he recounted what he heard during that lecture. That's how this transcript came about. So, Encouraging homosexuality? Hey, sex ed! And let's bring it into kindergartners. We'll talk about homosexuality and transgenderism to five-year-olds. And let's talk about anal sex to fourth graders. Are you kidding that we have adults who could possibly think that this is healthy education? For our young? Are you kidding? 
All right, well, uh, families to diminish in importance, limiting access to affordable medical care, planning the control over medicine, Obamacare, um, suppressing cancer cord, cures, and how many people have cancer, changing the Bible through revisions that has happened, the church will help us. Oh, and the Department of Homeland Security infiltrated churches and got the preachers and pastors and fathers to, hey, get your uh, congregation, brainwash them to obey government officials, controlling who has access to information, schools as the hub of the community. Books would disappear from the libraries, encouragement of drug abuse, oh my god, no more security, everything will be made to break down and bridges and trains and everything is just going to be crumbling and shifting populations and economies, tearing at the social roots, move people around because the economy is controlled and you get corporations to set up in particular states and then you impoverish other areas of the country and where can people find jobs? In the states where corporations have set up, they move. They move. Curtail American industrial preeminence. And he even talks about how Japan will become the car that Americans buy. Honda, Toyota. And I am going to read some of these Zionist Communist Takeover goals. 45 declared goals, which is at the bottom of uh, this article. But yes, January 10, 1963, the House of Representatives and later the Senate began reviewing a document entitled Communist Goals for Takeover of America. It contained an agenda of 45 separate issues. 45 separate goals. The communist infiltrators, infiltrators, they have infiltrated every institution. Our government, our schools, our corporations, our universities, our colleges. It has happened. All you need to do is do research. And if you're one of those who are just rolling your eyes and thinking, I'm crazy, man, you know what? You've been doing it. You're a part of the masses who just can't think anymore. You don't do any research. You love, you love parading your ignorance. And you act like seventh graders, insulting people. And you can't get that you've done, not done any research on what people are telling you. You're a disgrace. I hope you grow up. Because you are the useful idiot helping to take down this country. So, um, and this, oh, Jesus. Sorry for the yelling. Uh, I think I'll pause you. Sorry. Um, these goals, they were read into the congressional record by a representative back in 1963. And on this article that I found, I can't find that, um, but I believe he was a representative for Florida. So I have to pause you again. Anyway, the few goals that I'm going to read as I read them. If you have not seen what you're hearing, that it's already manifested, then you've been living under a rock. Get control of the schools. Use them as transmission belts for socialism and current communist propaganda. How often have you heard the millennials talk about how, yeah, socialism it would be great. Soften the curriculum. We have been dumbed down. Americans, we don't have the education, education system that we used to have. Gain control of all student newspapers. 
use student rights to foment public protests against programs or organizations which are under communist attack. Continued discrediting American culture by degrading all forms of artistic expression. Look at these, th look at the music, look at our movies, look at the art. It's, it's, well, an American communist cell was told to eliminate all good sculpture from parks and buildings and substitute it with shapeless, awkward, and meaningless forms. Can't you see it all around you? Control art critics and directors of art museums. Our plan is to promote ugliness, repulsive, meaningless art, eliminate all laws governing obscenity by calling them censorship and a violation of free speech and free press, break down cultural standards of morality by promoting pornography and obscenity in books, magazines, motion pictures, radio, TV, and then start sex ed curriculums in school to promote sexuality, uh, present homosexuality, degeneracy, and promiscuity as norm, natural, healthy. Discredit the Bible, emphasize the need for intellectual maturity, which does not need a religious crutch, eliminate prayer or any phase of religious expression in the schools on the ground that it violates the principle of separation of church and state. We're getting a thunderstorm and the winds just whipped up, so discredit the American Constitution by calling it inadequate, old-fashioned, out of step with modern needs, a hindrance to cooperation between nations on a worldwide basis, discredit the American founding fathers, fathers, present them as selfish aristocrats who had no concern for the common man, belittle all forms of American culture and discourage the teaching of American history. Common Core has done that. Now kids are being taught to be good global citizens and forget about your own history. Um, and support any socialist movement to give centralized control over any part of the culture, education, social agencies, welfare programs, mental health clinics. And while this came about quickly, this th storm, uh, transfer some of the powers of arrest from the police to social agencies. Well, social agencies, mental health, teachers, um, that was the creation of mandatory reporting. Oh, you see a child that has a bruise. You're mandated now to report to the authorities, the parents for child abuse. Um, and anybody insane, report them. Dominate the psychiatric profession and use mental health laws as a means of gaining coercive control over those who oppose communist goals. And of course, they're not going to put the communist goals right smack in your face. It's all being done insidiously. Uh, discredit the family as an institution. Encourage promiscuity and easy divorce. Emphasize the need to raise children away from the negative influence of parents. Yeah, schools, government can do a better job. Attribute prejudices, mental blocks, and retarding of children to suppressive influence of parents. Create the impression that impression that violence and insurrection are legitimate aspects of the American tradition, that students and special interest groups should rise up and use united force to solve economic, political, and social problems. Get those kids out there to leave their classrooms and, and work to destroy the Second Amendment. All right. Uh, this is what has happened to our country. It has been a program that has been taking place. It's ongoing, but it's been going on for decades and decades right here in America, the boiling frog scenario. Just because you didn't see it and just because you want to deny it right now, Deny the obvious that's staring at you. Something's radically wrong here in our nation. It does not mean it's not true. And you're denying it. 
you're refusing to do the research to find out what's happening in our country makes you the useful idiot to close the door on what was the freest nation in the world. All links are below.